Okay, well now we're going to open up a session. I'm going to use a different technique to open up this session. Now, let's check this out. We're going to load Pro Tools, and here comes our quick start right there. As you can see, it's right there. Okay, now we went over this template thing, and we've got to create a blank session. Now, here, what I want to do, I want to create a blank session, obviously. We've got our parameters set up here where we're going to use a BWF set for our WAV file type. I'm going to make this session probably 16-bit for now. And we're going to use 44.1 for our sample rate. I'm using my last I.O. setup. We'll explain it later on. You'll see more about I.O. setup as we continue on here in this lesson plan. Okay, I'm going to press OK. Now we've got OK. It wants us to name this session. So I'm going to name a session here. Now I'm going to call this session my M box. Since I am using an M box, I'll call my M box to... Uh, lessons that's a good idea and now I'll press save and look what we got we got here a blank edit window this is fully blank nothing's in here at all this is just a blank edit window and we're gonna start to make our session up right here let's see a little better like that now the first thing you want to do probably as we saw before from the template windows we want to make tracks let's do that we're gonna go here to the menu bar We'll select New Track. Now this dialog box comes up right here, and we have our tracks right here. Now, the first thing it offers us here is a create one, the number of tracks you want to create. We can be mono or stereo. And we have several options for types of tracks. We can have an audio track, we can have an auxiliary track, which is auxiliary input, master fader, a MIDI track, and an instrument track as well. And we have the track either be sample based or tick based. Now the difference between sample based and tick based is that the audio in Pro Tools is uh, sample based. When it's that way, it's by default. So that means the audio in Pro Tools is sample based by default. That means when we actually make up a file, it's sample based. Or make up a track, it's sample based. So this means that if an audio region is located, let's say, at a particular location in that track, it will not move from the location if the tempo changes in that session. Remember that. But if it's tick, it will move based on the tempo or the beats and bars and location where it's at. The only will move probably just be the actual start point. We'll explain that more as we continue on, but for right now, that's the reason why we're in that mode because here we have samples. You can see here we have two different options. We can have the track either being sample-based or tick-based, and the default here is sample-based. Okay, good. So, I'm going to make about five, let's see, maybe four tracks. And it'll be mono. Now, I press this button right here, and I can make up more tracks. See that? That adds another row there, as you can see, and we can have a couple more tracks. So, I want to make up some stereo. There's a stereo track right here. And I'll make it stereo audio, actually. I might just, just make one track. That's sample-based as well. I'll go right here, and I'll add one more row. Now, here, I've got one track. I think I'm going to make two this time. I'll press two. Now we have two tracks we're creating right here. These are new. And we're going to create two stereo. It's going to be auxiliary tracks. And they're also sample based. Now, I'll press the plus sign here also. Now, the minus sign, we can erase this actually, we can remove this row, or we can add a row. I'm going to add a row. And here, on one more track, I'll make this stereo. And this will be my master fader track. So, it's master fader right there. That's good. Next, if I want to, I can actually see this little arrow here. I can take this. And I can go up and down either way. I can move this right here. But you can see I move the master track right there. So we can move the arrangement around and see how we want to probably look at this arrangement. And we'll say, okay, well, I want to look at this way or look at that way to see what new tracks we're making, the order they'll be in. It's a great way for you to look at your session before you start, to look at your new tracks before you actually um, initialize them and enable them for your session. So I'll make one more row here and we're going to press a plus sign. And now I want to get a MIDI track. I want to get about two of these. There's two MIDI tracks right there. 
And you see here, the MIDI track is automatically defaulted to ticks. Not samples, but ticks. Remember that. I'll do another track here. I'll press the row button. Add one more row. And I'm going to make a stereo instrument track. I might make just two of those. And as you can see, the default for the instrument track as well is ticks. Okay, we've got our tracks right here. And I'll press create. And as you can see right here, Pro Tools has created all these tracks for us. And they're right here. As you can see, I run right through them there. We have order tracks one through four. We have another order track right here, which is stereo, which is number five. We have auxiliary one and two, our master, our two MIDI tracks. And also, we have our instrument tracks one and two. And that's how we can create and get our own session going without having a template. We created our own session right there within Pro Tools.